Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to open up a couple of pre-release packs from Theros Beyond Death. Uh, I was sick for the pre-release, so I didn't get to go and actually play. I did end up buying a couple, few of these afterwards. And we're going to see what's in them right now. What did I miss out on? Would I have been able to create a deck that would have been competitive? Am I any good at magic? Uh, the answer to all those, most of those questions is no, I would say. I already forget the question, so I'm not sure what the answers would be. Let's see what would be my well. Let's I guess it's a Thassa's Oracle. You can see that. Let's take a look at the uh, the dice. I like that. I'm a big uh, spin down dice fan. I always just throw those in my uh, my D and D box, so I actually use them. Um, we got a Thassa's Oracle for the pre-release promo. Very nice. Um, there's a code on the other side, which I may give to a patron. I may keep for myself. You never know. Now I got a divider for my cards. Cool, nice. And life is short, but death is shorter, right? Because she can escape. You know that makes total sense. So, uh, yeah, it's easy. Here's how you play. All the rules are right there for you, huh? And it should be six packs here. Let's do it. See if I got anything to go with my Thassa's Oracle here. Uh, I'm sure there would have been some great commons in here for limited. Yeah, Omen of the Sea. Good uh, blue common to start things off with. Got an Illyrios Enraptured, Birth of Miletus, Careless Celebrant, and a Temple of Deceit. Oh, we're going blue black here for sure. Got a Foil Plains that wouldn't help us with our blue black deck. And we got a Reflection so we can use. Illyrios. What does he even do? He enters the battlefield tap. He doesn't untap during your untap step. If you control a reflection, create a reflection token when he comes into play. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's good. Let's check out the rest of my packs and see how we did. Um, yeah, there we go. On camera. Riptide Turtle going straight into our... Uh, blue uh, limited deck here, sure. Got a la aspect of Lamprey, Thirst for Meaning, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going uh, Demir for this um, pre-release deck, I believe. And All State of Life's Bounty, Heliod's Punishment, Mirror Shield, and Atris, Oracle of Half Truths, that seals it. We're going blue-black here. Got a legendary creature, Human Advisor, he's 3-2 for 4. He's got Menace. When he enters the battlefield, target opponent looks at the top three cards. If your library separates them into a face-down pile and a face-up pile, put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. So they're always going to give you face-down one card. Um, probably your best card that you would want to, like, you know, take the other, t you know, you're going you're to gamble that that's the better card that they would rather have you put into the graveyard. Or they'll try to trick you. I'm sure uh, it works half the time, right? Okay, moving on. Can we get any more blue and black stuff? Starlet Mantle. Oh yeah, Creature Gains Hexproof. Sure, you're going to want that. Temple Thief. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, I'm seeing some good green and white stuff here too. Let's see. Uncommons. Fairy's Band Brawly. Brawler, inevitable end, totally goes with with this. Binding of the Titans and a Dream Trawler. Wow, we have to splash white to get this thing into our deck. That's gonna be difficult. Great card though for six. The three five flying lifelink sphinx. Whenever you draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus one. And when it attacks, you draw a card, and then you discard a card and give it hexproof till the end of the turn. Very, very solid card right there. Okay. And a Kraken token. How many times at the pre-release did you guys hear, release the Kraken? I, it's a poll. I want to do a poll right now. Let me know. Blue and black, blue and black. Omen of the Sea goes straight into the deck. Thaumaturge is familiar. We've got a Staggering Insight. One with the Stars. Blood Aspirant. And we got a Labyrinth of Scophos. It's um, a Maze of Ith for four. Remove target attacking or blocking creature from combat. And a foil triumph of annex. 
There we go. Ooh. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Sleep of the Dead. Yep. Good control. Omen of the Dead. Yep. This is what we want for our blue and black deck. Annex Hardened in the Forge. Acolyte of Affliction. Favorite of Iroas. And Thassa's Intervention goes straight into our blue deck, right? Look at uh, Instant for two blue and X. Choose one and look at the top X cards of your library. Put up to two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Or you can counter target spell unless its controller pays twice X. Yeah, good card. We got a Foil Stampede Rider. There we go. Last pack. <clears throat> Deny the Divine. Scavenging Harpy. Yeah. No. Mm. Brian Giant. I don't know if we would put that into our deck. Final Death. It costs a lot, but it's good. Fruit of Tiziris. Archon of Falling Stars. Mystic Repeal. Nessian Horn Beetle. And Mantle of the Wolf. Not usable for our Demir deck, but it's a good enchantment. For four. Enchanted creature gets plus four plus four when it puts it gets put into the graveyard from the battlefield. Create two, two two green wolf creature tokens. There you go. So that's it for my first pack. Let's see what color are we going for the next pre-release pack. Oh, I got a, a white dice this time around. Cool. And. Promo is a Nyx Lotus. That's solid right there. So we're going to want Devotion with this um, deck. We'll throw that over there for later. Got another divider. Great. Nyx Lotus. Put it right here. Out of the glare. Begin. Pack number one. What color Devotion are we going for? Find a gray merchant, maybe, and we'll go black. Funeral rites. All right, we got a furious rise. Banishing light. Warden of the Chained. Ooh, we're going green. Setison Champion, my favorite card of the set right now. I, I love, I already liked playing Voltron type decks. Um, so this is absolutely perfect. For three, it's a 1-3 human warrior. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, Put a 1-1 one -one counter on set as a champion and draw a card. Absolutely nuts. Bonkers of a card. Um, build around it. Draw a million cards. Beef her up and smash on through. My favorite way to play Magic the Gathering. Right there. Myers Grasp is the foil. Alright. What other green stuff can we put in this? Turtle... Courser, that'd be good for a green white. Yep, Citizen Training goes right on the Citizen Champion. I mean, it's right there. Citizen Skirmisher, another whenever another enchantment enters the battlefield, it gets 1 1, so that goes right in the deck there, too. Let's see, we've got a Fateful End, Hero of the Nyxborn, Glimpse of Freedom, and an Ashiok Nightmare Muse. Well, we want that for our other deck, but uh, happy to have it in the alternate extended border style for five it's a legendary planeswalker and it really wrecks your opponent you can read all that stuff down below awesome very very cool so still need more good green stuff for our green devotion deck here whoops nixborn colossus wow well, that's a good thing to cast um, with your Nyx Lotus once you get a bunch of green out. Tower Scout. Amulet. Wolf Willow Haven. That's perfect for this deck, too. Dawn Evangel. Underworld Fires. And Elspeth Conquers Death. For five, it's a Saga. It can exile a tar target permanent with converted mana cost three or greater. Phase two, non-creature spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast until your next turn. Phase three, return target creature or planeswalker card from your battlefield to the or from your graveyard to the battlefield. 
Put a one counter or a loyalty counter on it. Solid. Very solid. So, you know, we might have to go green white here, huh? <clears throat> Whoops. Whoops. Pilgrim Nexus Wardens. Not enchantment creatures, though. Dreadful Apathy. Worse than regular Apathy. Chain Web Arachnir. Mirror Shield. Cling to Dust. Oop, and the first Iroan games, this definitely goes in our green devotion deck. Create a 1 1 white human soldier creature token. Put three 1 1 counters on target creature you control. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater, draw two cards and then create a gold token. Yeah. Just sits there doing stuff for four turns. Not too shabby. <clears throat> Glory Bears. Omen of the Hunt. Yeah, you'd throw that into that deck. Alter the Pantheon is good for any of those. Inspire. Oh, I got a Skophos Maze Warden. Nessie and Horn Beetle. I'll definitely play that in this deck. Commanding Presence and a Temple of Enlightenment. Wrong colors. Blue and white and a tentacle. Alright, last pack. Can we make up a good green devotion deck out of this stuff? I feel like the last pack might have been a little stronger. Transcendent Envoy it would go into my uh, Citizen Champion deck for sure. There's a Colossus. Yeah, I think we're doing green white. Impending Doom. Staggering Insight, Heliod's Punishment, and Timuret Calls the Dead. Saga for three. Put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Then you may exile a creature and enchantment card from your graveyard. Make a 2-2 zombie token for the first two. On three, you gain X life and scry X for X is the number of zombies you control. You're all in on zombies with that thing. All right, so there you have it. A couple of pre-release packs. I got the, at least had the thrill of opening them, even though I didn't get to play. Boo hoo, sad. Anyway, thanks for watching, and catch you on the next one. Bye.